As for me, basic skincare routine is just cleanser, moisturizer, and also sunscreen. But how about you? When we are buying products, right, we are only educated on the ingredient and the functions of the ingredient. But actually, what makes this ingredient function? What are the signs behind all of these ingredients? Let's start with cleanser first. So in cleanser, of course, they have so many ingredients inside. But I just want to share on how this cleanser can wash your face. Okay, so when we are sweaty, our face started to be very oily, right? And it gives you uncomfortable feeling. So when you, firstly, when you wet your hands, okay, when you wet your hands and you put the, the face cleanser, the face cleanser starts to, to foam up. Why? This is because of the surfactant. Okay, what are the examples of surfactants? Surfactants could be SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate, or sodium uh, lauryl ether sulfates, or many other surfactants. Okay, so these surfactants, what they do, they have two tails. Okay, the hydrophobic tails, the one that hates water, and the hydrophilic tails, that one that loves water. So when they started to foam up and interact with our face, the one that hates water, which is the hydrophobic tail, will attract or they will start to trap or take all this uh, oil, dirt, debris on our face. Meanwhile, the one that loves water is the one is at the outside. Okay, okay. now we want to wash back our face, right? So we take water and wash our face and then this surfactant will form a spherical ball that known as micelle. So this micelle, where the hydrophobic tail, it will be in the inside and the hydrophilic tail is the outside. The one that caused this micelle to float. You cannot see the micelle because they are a tiny particle colloid. It's very, very small. So other than surfactant, what are the ingredients that they put inside cleanser? Uh, now we have like a very wide range of cleansers, right? So they could be have a hydrating cleanser. This hydrating cleanser, they put like moisturizing ingredients like uh, glycerin, they put sodium P CA, okay, for exfoliating cleanser, the one that used to fight acne, okay, to deep cleanse, usually they will add uh, these exfoliating ingredients, like for example, the famous one, alpha hydroxy acid, AHA, beta hydroxy acid, uh, BHA, okay. Okay, now let's go to the moisturizer, okay. This one is the my favorite, uh, my favorite one because I like moisturizer. Ingredients that you need to concern about is that you need to make sure your cleanser could have occlusive emollients and also humectants. We can see that most products, most moisturizing products, they have all these three. But some, they just have two or even one. For example, Vaseline, right? So, let's find another product that can have emollients, okay? Why emollients? Because these emollients have long fatty chains. These fatty chains, they can spread and penetrate into your skin. Why they can penetrate into your skin is because they will replace the absence of the naturally lipids on your skin. So when you apply uh, products or moisturizer that have emollients, it can help your skin to make uh, to make your skin softer. Okay, wait, before that, what are the ingredients that you can find as occlusive is petrolatum and emollients, ingredients that can act as emollients like ceramide, uh, glycosterate and also castor oil. And then the third one is humectants. Humectants is the one that is hydrophilic, the ones that loves water. So it will attract water to your skin. That's why when when you, have, when you are wearing moisturizer that have all these three ingredients, meaning that you have occlusive, the one that will uh, prevent water from loss, and you have uh, humectants, the one that will attract water to your face, and then you have emollients, the one that makes your skin softer, you will find that that moisturizer is kind of like your holy grail, yeah? because you feel like your skin more uh, moisturized, hydrates, and make your skin soft, okay? So yeah, find moisturizer that can have all these three, but of course, it depends on your skin sensitivity, okay?